what's up guys and welcome to another video for of course me the Skyrender and today I have something very 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 different to tell you guys and that is of course uh, my drafting result of the LBA so before going in I had a few options um, so we're gonna talk about those before I actually talk about the draft itself um, I had no real help outside this I I got a good um, uh, pointers from a guy named Elias of course who things worth really thinking about while drafting since I actually haven't drafted before so I was really excited I had a list prepared where I try instead of drafting the best mods I was trying to draft typings and I think that worked out really 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 nicely and um, first start off here was of course Thunderous as you guys see on the screen Thunderous was a very very obvious choice for me and uh, since I was third in, in pick, I actually had a chance of getting what I wanted, and luckily for me, of course, I did. Thunders is an excellent Pokemon for me, and my playstyle in general, being that it's definitely fast, it has access to Nasty Plus, a good setup Pokemon, it has a broad move pool, and of course, Prankster, which means T-Wave is a thing. Uh, really looking forward to using this in this draft format, and luckily I did pull this off. Now, next turn here, I was actually ninth instead of first, since we do a snake draft. And uh, my first pick here was actually, um, I think it was Infernape, actually. Uh, that was the Pokemon I had in mind. No, actually, sorry. That was either Garchomp or... Um, Garchomp or um, Landorus. Yeah, Garchomp, Landorus. And if they were picked, then I was going to sell for Tranitar and uh, pick Excrill afterwards. Uh, but I didn't want to pick Garchomp because of, um, well, let's face it, uh, I was so gonna get Cure B. Uh, but luckily though, Landorus was still available and we got that one. Landorus is a massive threat for anybody, if anything, man. Of course, with that 155 uh, base attack in conjunction with his typing and, of course, access user and a very uh, respectable speed, this guy is definitely gonna make a difference and he's a very very good supporting Pokemon for my team. Uh, obviously now we start to build a bit of a weakness to ice, but you know that is to be noted, that is to be noted and expected. It's a very very obvious um, thing to be weak at anyway. So the next draft here, I really was looking forward to pick up Alakazam, though I did want Tentacool too, but I couldn't risk him um, losing out on Alakazam, so that's why we got him. <laughs> <laughs> it looks terrible, though. What's that picture? <laughs> but anyway, uh, Alakazam, of course, being uh, as much as Sigilet was from the LBA, uh, has access to Magic Guard, which makes it immune to, of course, residual damage from hazards, which is important because that means he can keep a Focus Sash intact and can use Life Orb without ramifications. So, Alakazam is a massive threat for anybody who's going up against it, and I am looking forward to using this benefit, and uh, I hope that. Um, I set the expectation not too high because I was expecting a whole lot from Alaga Sam. It's a Pokemon I really, really am looking forward to using. I have never used an Alaga Sam since Generation 2. That's right. That, that's actually kind of scary. Kadabra I used a lot though. Uh, my next pick here was actually, there was the reason here. I wanted so badly to pick up either Curem or Shame or um, Infernape. Uh, but both of them were picked, and actually, the guy before me, Esculo, um, drafted Infernape just before me, and that was really frustrating because that actually was a Pokemon I fought, or I was sure it was gonna get picked, but I was so close of getting it that it was not even funny. But luckily, though, for us, uh, since I didn't have prepared any grass type for my drafts, we got Shaman! Hell yes! Shaman is a very, very powerful mon, though. It is the Mew. Of the fourth generations, I believe, with those straight hundred base, and um, honestly, Shaman can pack a punch with both the axes of Seed Flare. Its unique move uh, has a uh, is basically a Hydro Pump with the chance of actually dropping special defense, which is incredible in this kind of format. And of course, Earth Power, Healing Wish, Calm Mind, Psychic. It can fend its own. It's an incredible good Pokemon, and I'm definitely looking forward to using it. Now, my pick for the uh, C-Class, or D, sorry. It was D, right? Yeah. It was actually a, quite a tough pick to make. Because it came down to that I wanted Cabalion so badly. 
but it was a lot of good Pokemons in this uh, kind of uh, ranking. But luckily though, we got the Golden Lion, the Steel Fighter, Kubalion. And Kubalion, I won't say a whole lot about it. Most people know exactly the issue that this guy brings. Most potent, of course, being it's cycling. It's a fairy killer, it's a normal typing killer, and it has very few flaws, and it has access to Stealth Frogs and Volt Switch. It seriously is one of those Pokemons that just, it just keeps coming. It's so hard to deal with. Even if you prepare for it, you're not very likely to outspeed it, and that's one of the biggest issues with Kubalion is that it's so fast. So, luckily we did draft that, and really now I have no more thoughts about that. I'm just, that was what I was going for. Uh, at the last ranking though, the E rank, we actually had a bit of an option here because I actually could get Embor, which was a Pokemon I wanted to draft, uh, to get it with John Mega, which obviously we didn't get because, well, obviously we're ninth pick, so it was not very likely to get that one. Uh, but I actually didn't have a Poison type or a Dark type as of yet, and I didn't want to pick Pangoro because I would have a Fighting type with being, of course, the Cavalion. And I didn't really want to have a fighting type that was weak to fighting moves. I, I, like, one is enough for me. And uh, we actually decided to take this guy, Drapion. And Drapion is actually not such a bad pick. It's probably the most defensive pick I made in total. And it's not that defensive. I'm actually a very, very aggressive T overall. But Drapion still massive threat for any fairy Pokemon. If anything, he can deal with a lot of threats. And Vina is naturally fast of 95 base. This guy is gonna get a lot of showtime, I believe. And uh, of course, you know, it is a great hazard setter and it's a great toxic soaker. So, this guy, definitely looking forward to using this. And um, yeah, it was a very, very easy call to make. Now, in the last run here that's gonna come, I was so hoping for that I was going to draft um, Curran B. Obviously, since we we're third pick and it was Greninja and Curran B, it was a bit unique. They could not be dropped into round 7. We do not get these guys, and that sucks a lot. But an option we have here, and something I was going for, was of course the best ghost type I could think of the Gengar. Oh, hell yes. We did pick up this son of a bitch. And um, Gengar, I mean, there is no words to define this Pokemon more than hell yes. This could definitely help out. Um, it was between Keldeo and Gengar. But Gengar came out on top just because of the typing. Uh, Ghost, Poison, pretty intimidating, pretty tough to deal with. And together with the Drapion, they actually help each other just perfectly. So, really looking forward to bring both of them in battles in future. And um, next pick was actually a bit of a tough one to make, because I knew that, like I said, Tentacool, we missed out on that. It sucked because I wanted Alakazam. So, we actually took another B rank Pokemon, and a Pokemon that I didn't really want to pick, but I was now in a position where it was probably my best call. It was either that or Cabotops, and Cabotops, while good Pokemon, it doesn't necessarily help me in the long run. So, freaking Empoleon is gonna come in here. And Empoleon has been a very, very nice niche Pokemon for me. I uh, use it very often in UU. Defog is surely a move that is worthwhile mentioning. But the obvious or need for this Pokemon is actually that it has access of being a stealth rocker. It could be a defined wall with roll in the face of course, and it can actually be a potential setup sweeper. So a lot of good things come with um, Empoleon, and I'm looking forward to using this one as a of benefit. Um, next pick and round nine Pokemon was actually Tyrantrum, but we didn't we actually made a drop for that because. The, po or the trainer I'm, I'm actually gonna face here in the first week dropped it, and uh, the thing he dropped was Curem. Now, for you people who doesn't know, um, or I'm, I'm only saying like three times already in this video, we did have a desire for Curem B. Now, Curem, the regular form, is just the next best thing. Curem, very, very powerful, very, very good stab moves would be in that. Having an ice stab on one's team is super, super, super important. And in contrast with that, I'm actually fairly weak to cure him and meanwhile, um, this guy, I needed to take this. I needed to have this use of my own. Dude, this Pokemon is not a Pokemon I want to face. So cure him, getting that one, super important. And it also filled the void of the type that were missing. So now it comes to my Mega Pick. I'm just going to switch that out of the way. Mega Dianchi, boom. 
done. Uh, this was a Pokemon I was going for if Mega Altaria was gonna be picked, and sadly, yes, Mega Altaria did get picked, and that sucked. But obviously, since it was a ninth pick in um, in the round here when Mega Pokemon was coming, it's not that bad. It it really isn't. It really, really, really isn't. I was fairly glad I got the energy because that meant that I can actually pick the Pokemon that's gonna synergy with this guy. This great. But honestly, I did not have a Rock typing and I did not have a Fair typing. So getting the Enchi was a major winning from my side, and uh, the Enchi is gonna be a tough Pokemon to most people to actually deal with. It is super powerful at Magic Bounce, which is an incredible ability to have if you, like me, only have a Defogger. And that's really about it. I love it. I think it's great. Um, but the thing is, now that we got the Enchi, I actually got the option to pick a Pokemon that I knew was gonna work so goddamn good with this. It's the Volcarona! <laughs> In all honesty though, Volcarona, super, super, super powerful Pokemon, and honestly, there is no debating it. If, um, if Mega Dianchi is a part of the team, Volcarona can thrive in it. It doesn't necessarily need to worry about rocks. So, I'm so glad we got this guy. Volcarona is just a champ. Such good typing. Too bad with stealth rocks and whatnot, definitely, but outside of that, Volcarona is gonna do it. It's gonna be the Pokemon for me. It's gonna help me a lot in this draft, I'm sure. Or League. <laughs> so that was probably... Oh, sorry. That was probably my last nice pick. Now I only had two picks left to make, and I actually ended up picking up Salamence, which I ended up dropping because of Curem B. And I had too much points. So, the best C-rank Pokemon I could think of was... Uh, a Pokemon that will solve the issues I have with other typings, and that is of course Heracross. Heracross is um, honestly not the best Pokemon. I'm not gonna like try to defend this or anything, but it fills a void in my team that's gonna be very necessary. And um, like, well, much like World Corona. It would not have been a good Pokemon to draft if I didn't have the necessary team to keep this one uh, wide open. Aerocross could be an incredible Pokemon for a few of these opponents that I'm gonna face, and uh, I'm gonna use it whenever the chance comes. And honestly, Aerocross, such a cool design, I love this guy. And uh, for the last pick was actually, and this is actually kind of bad because I was going to pick Stoutland because we are, after all, the Scandinavian Stoutlands. Makes sense, right? But that did not end up happening because uh, Gabriel d decided to be an asshole, so uh, fuck you for that. Ah, I'm always joking, really. Sorry about the swear words, guys. But honestly, he picked out Stoutland, and obviously Stoutland does a lot more for his team than it does to mine. So we ended up picking up the Pokemon I probably didn't want. <laughs> Pangora. And this guy, obviously, it's not gonna be used. I I see a few um, situations where Pangora could be used, but it's not nothing that other Pokemon that I already drafted can't do. So, I should probably have drafted Tauros or Moltres, uh, looking back at it, but uh, it was late, you know, I was, fairly, I was feeling fairly finished. So, um, yeah, Pangora it was. And, uh, yeah, that's not actually that bad. I was a bit frustrated, but it is what it is. But the coolest part is not that. The coolest part is that Gabriel helped us out making this picture. So, Gabriel, thank you so much for that. This picture looks awesome. And this is, of course, a complete draft of the Scandinavian Stoutlands. And, um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty darn good, glad about my draft. I think I picked the most things I needed. Like I said, the Pangoro might not have been the smartest move, and I would have been much better off with another Pokemon with another typing. I didn't think about that that situation. I mean, the, the clock was... What was that? I think it was um, roughly close to 11 o'clock, and I was going to go up at 5 a.m. So, you know, six hours of sleep was what I was looking at, so I really needed to go, really go away. And, um, yeah, that sucked. I mean, obviously, I needed... I wanted more. <laughs> <laughs> and I needed to think one that one through, but I just I couldn't do it. And I got my few changes here. Obviously, having access to Curem was a priority, which means that dropping mints was sadly the thing I had to do, and Pangora had to stick. Obviously, though, I think I can trade it away in the future, maybe. 
or obviously the, the, the 12 other picks I did are still gonna be immensely helpful. We are looking at a pretty pretty nasty drafted team. I do recognize that my slowest Pokemon I drafted was uh, Empoleon with the 60 pace speed. The second one is Rotom, uh, or not Rotom, Volcarona. I think it has 80 base or something like that, or I think it might be slower. Other than that, our team is pretty darn fast. I mean, it's it's beyond me. Uh, or even Pangor is slow too. Other than that, I think we are in an um, average of 87 base speed to get with everything put together. So we are the fastest team in the TBU, and honestly, we are also probably the team that's gonna win. I'm just telling you guys, if you're watching this, you guys are so screwed. We're definitely gonna win this thing. Yeah, th that's terrible. Hopefully, I'm right, or I'm gonna eat those words up. But in all honesty, this was a very, very cool draft, and I'm looking forward to facing the players that I'm going up against. And we actually got the list here for the players that we're gonna meet. So, um, I am really, really, really excited. And with this video comes up, obviously, uh, the planning for my first opponent is gonna go down. And uh, this is the complete draft. I have nothing more to say than that. Um, so for everybody who's been watching, I really want to thank you for doing just so. I mean, how cool is that? Watching the Scandinavian Southland. This is a starting point. Next week, and when it all goes down, the 27th of November is when we first have our uploaded battle. All of us together. So that's 12 uploads you guys need to see. And of course, we're gonna do the pre-planning before the match is 26th. And that's gonna also be just as exciting. So I hope you guys really enjoying this and I'm gonna try to link everybody's channel down below. Make sure to sub to every one of these because this is going down. If you wanna see everybody else's team, that is the way you're gonna get to those uh, draft analysis. So make sure to check these guys out. So with that in mind guys, I wanna thank you so much for watching. And I see you of course in the next video and I'll see you there guys. Take care, and remember, the sky is the limit. Ask your name in <laughs> and I'm out. Bye. <laughs>